Hello, I'm with uh, this home with Johans, and I'm with Gabriel. Wasn't Gabriel like one of the angels or something like yes, that? Yes, he was. Is it, and this is, and you have a family business. You're a part of the family. Yes, obviously. sir. Yes. And how long is your? And we're we're standing in near. Uh, we're standing amongst marble and a lot of stone. Yes, marble, granite. And your, what's your family business? Uh, we import, supply, manufacture, and install natural stone. Natural stone. So one of the reasons, uh, you know, a lot of people renovate their kitchens. And the first thing they're going to think about is uh, countertops. Mm -hmm. And obviously, this is where you come into play, right? Yes. So I was just reading that uh, you know, a lot of people now are talking about using quartz because it's non-porous and it's. And uh, but what would what would you suggest? Like if you're looking at a kitchen and you want, you know, value for your dollar, you want to, you know, everybody's concerned about, you know, what's the rate of return on the investment and you know, the home value. Well, basically, it works that uh, a quartz material is a man-made product. Yes. It basically doesn't have any actual residual value. Um, natural stone has each each piece has its own value in itself. So it's actually worth something at the end of the day, opposed to something that is just a fad or man-made to, to look like something that it's not. Some of the pieces you have here, like what they, I'll just try and see if I can do a pan. They look like actual paintings. Like they're, the finish on them is, see if I can get this one here. It's really, so is this all quartz that I'm standing in front of? Oh no, this is all natural stone. Natural stone, oh yeah. sorry, yeah. No, this is, so is it called granite or marble or? Um, some of it's marble, some of it's granite, some of it's exotic granite. What's the difference between uh, marble and granite? Uh, basically, granite contains more solid minerals like iron, zinc, copper, and all those other things. And marble? Marble is more of a crystallized stone and it's more rock than anything. Not too much uh, iron, zinc, and stuff like that. It's so given a choice, granite, marble? It's basically based on uh, personal preference and lifestyle. That's okay. the deciding factor which solid surface is best for your needs. What's the difference visually between the two stones? Let's say. Well, I mean, like natural stone has its own beauty. It can't be duplicated. Like, so is, uh, is this, what would this be here? Then? This is natural stone. Natural stone. Yes. Yeah. So, and people typically talk about, are worried about, you know, when they're cooking, they spill wine or any kind of uh, citrus on it. Is, is, should they be concerned about that? And well, if you are buying good quality stone and your fabricator should know if it's good quality stone or not, you shouldn't have a problem. Um, we buy stone from quarries all over the world so we know exactly how they're made and what they can withstand. So we can direct you better as to tell you if this is good for your lifestyle or if it's not. So what is the process of, you know, good you know, a man manufacturing, I guess you have to make it somehow. What, yes. What's the process of putting something like this together? I'll just see if I can, uh, like, or even like this. What, is, what are they, what are Basically, they? Basically, it's taken out of the mountain as a cube, as a whole. Uh, goes on something like a gang saw with wires. After that, it goes through its own processes, whether it be lacquers, resin, or polishing and shining. And then it goes through a quality control system. Okay, what's the best way of, like, it's just an epoxy. Like it's, how do they get the smooth finish? Uh, they basically put it on a machine that has 42 rows of heads and 37 heads in each row. So it'll go from a 60 grade all the way to oh, 3000. And but what's the finish? It looks like an epoxy or resin. Um, it's just a high polish. It's a high, wow. High polish. On both the granite and the marble. Yes, high polish material has a tendency to be more resistant to staining and stuff like that because it's a closed core material. Anything that has been honed or the sheen has been taken off is more open pore and more susceptible to the oils on your hands, to the oil you're using to cook. What's the cost per square foot of? It starts typically around seventy dollars and it can go all the way to about hundred and sixty. Seventy to one hundred and sixty dollars per yeah, square depending foot. Depending on the rarity of the stone, how hard it is to mine, how hard it is to manufacture, and all those other things. What's your favorite stone? What's your favorite piece of rock right now on the display? Calacatta. Calacatta. Are you Italian? Uh, yes, I am. Of course he's Italian. Uh, this is beautiful. I'll just show you that. It's gorgeous. You call it a patina, right? Or is it... Uh, cappuccino. Cappuccino. But I mean the finish on a general stone when you... It's just a high polish. Okay. No, but I mean the, the patina, isn't that the, the grain of the stone? Cappuccino? So this, but this is a cat called a cappuccino. Yes, it's called a calacata cappuccino. It's gorgeous. And if they want to, if people want to get a hold of you, what's the, what's the name of your company? And it's your Bimbrock Marble and Granite. Bimbrock Marble and Granite. Is that in Bimbrock, Ontario? Yes, it is. I have a friend that lives there. I know where Bimbrock is. Uh, all right. And you have a website. It's uh, www. 
bimbrockmarble.ca. Yes. All right. Gabrielle, thank you for uh, doing that. Thank you very much, sir. Thanks for hooking me up with some solid rock. Thanks.